According to U.S. President Joe Biden, Russian aggression against Ukraine has led to an escalation of tensions between Moscow and the Western world. Therefore, the probability of a nuclear conflict breaking out is comparable to the threat of the Cold War. We haven't faced the prospect of an apocalypse since Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis. Putin is a man I know well. He is not kidding when he talks about using tactical nuclear weapons, biological or chemical weapons. Putin's threat is real because his military is, so to speak, ineffective. There is no such thing as an easy use of tactical weapons. It will end in Armageddon. The threat is also posed by Russian missile attacks on the nuclear power plant in the Nerhodar, which could lead to a nuclear catastrophe. For several days now, the Kremlin has been trying to connect the facility to the Russian power grid. This is a matter that has to do uh, with international law. We are here in a conflict. We are here in a war. We want this war to stop. The war should stop immediately. And of course, uh, the position of the IAEA is that this facility is a Ukrainian facility. But I don't get into comments about military developments. According to Volodymyr Zelensky, the risk of damaging the nuclear power plant is high. The president of Ukraine also believes that Russia is a threat to world peace and that it must be stopped until it is too late. If the Zaporizhia power plant does not work, we cannot generate excess electricity. Therefore, the European Union countries are losing one of their existing sources of supply in this way. International sanctions against Russia are bringing tangible results. Experts predict that Russia's GDP in 2020 2023 will shrink by 15 percent. Meanwhile, the Kremlin plans to increase taxes on exporters of raw materials from next year. The increase in customs duties and new taxes will give Moscow a profit of 1.5 trillion rubles. It is important to understand that the pressures of sanctions on Russia will only increase. Therefore, we need effective methods of operation that can be dynamically implemented. The Wagner Group, a private military company linked to Russian intelligence, is known for mobilizing criminals with a particularly brutal past. Today, the organization has set up its own telegram channel, encouraging volunteers to recruit in the frightening words, We came from hell. We are Wagner. Our business is death, and this business is going well. Someone in the Kremlin has decided to send you to certain death. Now you don't want to hear it because if you listened, you'd agree with me. Who will you be after this war for your children and grandchildren when they discover the truth? You will be remembered as thieves, rapists and murderers. Maybe that's why Vladimir Putin is hiding in the bunker instead of marching next to you. We guarantee safety and justice to all who refuse to fight. Meanwhile, Russian officials frantically search for ways to finance the war. The Kremlin expects that the activities of the mobilized units will be financed from modest regional budgets. There is no equipment at the front. On the other hand, Russian soldiers ration food because they obtain provisions from their own resources. Someone got a call? Yes, our relative. I'm just telling you not to come here under any circumstances. Flee to another country. Something terrible is happening at the border with Georgia. People run away. Look for any solution, as long as they do not send him to the front. Maybe we'll try with a history of illnesses. He has a weak heart and liver. How are you? They are totally crazy. What they do, I won't go into details. There are many injured. Each day, they were taking away piles of at least 12 bodies. Ukrainian forces are constantly taking over Russian military equipment. Ukraine captured at least 440 Russian tanks and about 650 armored vehicles, which now make up more than half of Ukraine's armored forces. During the last 24 hours, the Russians carried out eight missile strikes and 15 airstrikes on civilian facilities in Ukraine. The attacks damaged infrastructure in 25 localities.